Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I don't want to be a villain, he said, gotta be Bond. Following Daniel Craig's final appearance as James Bond in No Time to Die, Dwayne Johnson is putting his name in the bucket to be the next 007. This comes as numerous names have been floating around as prospective successors for the part, including Idris Elba, Henry Cavill, Tom Hardy, and J. Jean Page. Dwayne Johnson has finally jumped on board as he reveals he wants to be the next Bond. How it all started. Grandfather was a Bond villain and you only live twice with Sean Connery. Very, very cool. And I would like to follow in his footsteps. Johnson begins the clip for Esquire by outlining his family's connection to the long-running Secret Agent series. Yes, my grandfather was a Bond villain in You Only Live Twice with Sean Connery. Very, very cool. He was said referring to the actor Peter Mavia, who portrayed a minor villain who faced off against Sean Connery's Bond. The Rock went on to admit that he's a fan of this series, but that he has great expectations for it. I would like to follow in his footsteps and be the next Bond, he said. I don't want to be a villain, gotta be Bond. Other things to happen at the Esquire interview. And usually the gyms that I work out in don't have a bathroom because they're the eye in paradise that there's no bathroom. The sculpted gym fanatic and former University of Miami football star also discussed his habit of peeing in water bottles during his tough workouts in the Esquire article, which was published on November 11th. I do pee in my water bottles, Johnson said, but let me explain why. It's not a water bottle that I actually purchased solely for water that you wash and clean when you're done using it. These are just bottles that I'm no longer using. Usually the gyms that I work out in don't have a bathroom because they're the iron paradise, the actor said. They're just hot, sweaty, and dirty, says the actor. Barbara Broccoli on Rock Playing Bond would love for Daniel to continue forever, so I'm not thinking about it. Will That's something Michael and I will discuss next year. Barbara Broccoli, who has a big influence in who gets to play Bond, concedes that Bond may be a person of color, but not of another gender or from anywhere than Britain. According to Barbara Broccoli, the character of James Bond will always be portrayed as a man in films and television. It was revealed that Daniel Craig's replacement will begin to be considered by the Bond series producer and head of E.ON Productions, who has power to sign off every significant hiring and firing in the spy movie. James Bond is a male character, she told the PA News Agency. I hope that there will be many, many films made with women, for women, by women, about women. I don't think we have to take a male character and have a woman portray him. So yes, I see him as male and I'm sort of in denial. I would love for Daniel to continue forever. Actors that were lucky enough to play Bond. Australian George Lazenby and Irishman Pierce Brosnan were the last non-British actors to portray James Bond on the big screen. Former British spy Ian Fleming developed the character and presented him to the public in his book Casino Royale, published in 1952. Ian died back in 1964, just three years after securing the film agreement with Cubby Broccoli and Harry Saltzman that has allowed his brand to continue to this day. His stepdaughter told Joanna Lumley in a BBC program that he secretly admitted to his wife in a letter, I'm getting so tired of that at Bond. Immediately after his death, the character series became the longest running in Hollywood history, with Daniel becoming the longest serving Bond in terms of years in the position. A lot of people weren't happy with me playing Bond, said Daniel in an interview. He has now performed his sixth performance as the secret agent in No Time to Die after Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, and Spectre. He is still behind Sean Connery and Roger Moore, who both played Ian Fleming's role in seven films each. Obstacles in the Rock's Path Johnson's magnetic energy is undeniable and he adds unrivaled star power to the box office. However, now that Daniel Craig's last appearance as the super spy No Time to Die has been out, he faces fierce competition in Hollywood to play the next Bond. Idris Elba is often suggested as a possible successor to James Bond. The same goes for Tom Hardy and Roger Jean Page, who is a writer that lives in the United States. Will Johnson have the time even if he gets his wish? After all, he currently has a lot on his plate and numerous projects in the future. 
Some people think that he should tread cautiously because, as The Rock says, on a windy day, try and pee into the wind and see what happens. He just released Red Notice and will appear in the next DC Extended Universe picture, Black Adam, which will be released next summer. Some of his planned projects are The King and San Andreas 2, not to mention his perspective return to the Fast and Furious series, which isn't out of the question after Vin Diesel openly urged Johnson to reprise his role as Lou Hobbs. Diesel pleaded with his quote-unquote little brother to help him achieve his quote-unquote destiny. He told her, you have a very significant duty to play. There's no one else who can portray Hobbs. I hope you rise to the situation and achieve your goals. Will The Rock get the chance to play the iconic role of James Bond? Do let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!